Debbie Calhoun from Southeastern Cellular. Let me tell you about the perfect match. Singular's new push-to-top feature and our new extended coverage area. That's right, now there's no need to carry two phones. One for push-to-talk and one to work in rural areas. Southeastern Cellular now has both in one unit. Come to any of our Southeastern Cellular locations for details. Hey everybody, it's Barry Miller. Welcome to this week's episode of Big Boys Toys. We're at Cedar Bluff, Alabama today. It's their annual Freedom Day. We got cars everywhere. Look at here. Hardly ever you find this many tractors. There's a lot of antique tractors up here. I know a lot of you people like looking at the tractors. Got two this show, probably gonna have two the next show, so you don't wanna miss it. A lot of cars in there too. I'd estimate probably 300 here now or more. A lot of cars coming in. Relax, relax we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Big Boys Toys. Tonight, your host, Barry Miller, will bring you the sleekest, trimmest automobiles from around the area that have been beautifully restored. If you love streamlined, full-force race cams, then this show is for you. So sit back, but don't get too relaxed. This is Big Boys Toys. Looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks? Then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintard. First vehicle, Jimmy Grimes, a 1959 John Deere. I told you I was gonna have some tractors. Jimmy, welcome to Big Boys Toys. People all the time, when I put a tractor on, they start asking questions about them. Tell me a little bit about your John Deere, cause I know it ain't many of these big ones around. Oh, it's a 59 John Deere 630 road crop. Now road crop, now it's, is that the ones that got the wheels in the front? Yeah, tricycle front end for a front mounted cultivator. And these tractors back in the 50s, they used them for a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, yeah, you belt pulley over there where the clutch is at. The clutch is inside the belt pulley and you can run a sawmill with them or old timey thrashers or something like that with them. Now, uh, antique tractors, I know they got antique tractor clubs and I know y'all have shows just like the car shows, but antique tractors are getting pretty big. Yes. State of Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee, it's a lot of them around, and you, it's a lot of shows. You look at any magazine, and it'll say tractor show, tractor show, tractor show. Yeah, we've had our club going for just a little over a year, year in January, and we got 60-something uh, members now. To restore a tractor like this, most people say on a car it takes two years, three years. How long does it take to actually restore a tractor like this if you just found one sitting out somewhere and you wanted to redo the whole thing? Six months to a year working on it pretty regular. Pretty regular about every yep. day. And it's easy to paint. I mean, you got two colors. Yeah. <laughs> and you ain't got to shine it up a lot because <laughs> they, they wasn't that shiny back in the 50s. No. Way. And if you want to make it original, you don't make it shine that much. No, I think I went a little overboard with that one. Yeah, you buff it all the time. <laughs> yeah. The wheels and all on this thing, how, where do you find the wheels and all if you go to restore it or you just have to take the wheels that's on it and completely redo them? Well, you take the wheels that's on them, redo them. If there's anything, you know, you have to patch where the valve stems at sometime, where they rusted out or something like that. Pick up aftermarket stuff and still now, get some through John Deere. Now in the 50s when these tractors was out, did they have water in the tires like they do in some of the newer ones? Or? Well, a lot of people put water in them for extra ballast, you know, about pulling a plow or cutting hair or something like that. Now this one, what's some of the shows that you've been to? Oh, I just, this is first time out for that one. I didn't have it finished. Well, I just got done with it in, uh, I guess, April. See, I've got a trailer big enough to haul it on. Did they sell a lot of these tractors with the tricycle front end like that? Because, you know, people look at it and say, it looked like that front end would come up, or it would, you know, like it's a full. tricycle when we was kids, you'd turn them things over pretty easy. Yeah, them will turn over it fairly easy, too, if you get them, you know, on too much of a hillside or something. But they, they actually sold a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and especially in our part of the country, there wasn't many 
wide front end sold. Those tractors were wide front end. Now, have you ever been to a tractor pull where they took one of the new Belarus tractors or one of these new tractors that's got, you know, the 45 horsepower, four wheel drive and all this stuff, and they ever had a tractor pull, like put two of them together, take one of the old ones and, no, and pull? No, I had never seen it. I don't know why in the world people call that phone when they know I'm standing up here talking to somebody at this time of the morning, so they call me anyway. Anything else you want to do to it? Uh, no, I'm going to repaint my rims where we skin them, put them back on, but other than that, I'm done with that one. Now, you're actually going to repaint them when they're on there? Yeah. There's a whole lot simpler. And you can actually bring these tires on out, right? On oh, these yeah. shafts? Yeah, you can widen it out. You'd have to widen it out to cultivate with it. But they're narrowed in for hauling, and uh, that's close to where it would be if you was pulling a two or three bottom plow with it. And you just load it up, take it to the shows, load it up, and take it to the house? Put it back in the shed. Put it back in the shed. How many tracks do you have? Uh, I've got two finished and two more to do. Can't beat that. Would you stick all of them John Deere? No, I've got one Oliver. Oliver. Now, I never had an Oliver on the show. you got to let me know when you get that and ready. <laughs> I've had a farm all John Deere, and that's it. Well, uh, that's about all. It's in our part of the country, really. There's a few Olivers and maybe a Moline or two, but basically it's Ford, John Deere, and farm all. Tell you what, good looking tractor. Appreciate you being on the show. Okay. We'll be right back. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make of the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet. Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, this day and time when you leave your home, you always wonder if your home will be safe when you return. Why not let the professional sales staff at Systems by Design in Oxford take all the worry out of your mind? With over 100 years of combined experience in home security business and 25 years in serving this area, they install only the best GE security systems. They have systems that can warn you from unseen hazards in your home while you're there or while you're away. Give Bob Bobo or one of his sales staff a call today, 831-9595, and tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Kegel Auto Repair, Pelham Road right here in Jacksonville, Alabama, is your number one location for all of your automotive maintenance needs. From minor and major tune-ups to brakes to air conditioning, transmission service, tire rotation, yes, and even that regular oil change, they do it all right there at Kilgore's. They also do maintenance on go-wing motorcycles, changing tires, oil, and tune-ups. From top to bottom, they can do it on the Gold Wings. Also remember, Kilgore's is your DFT trike conversion dealer for the state of Alabama. Stop by or call today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Next vehicle, Benny Davis, a 1972 Chevy pickup. Benny, welcome to Big Boys Toys. It's just like the tractor. The 70 model pickup, 75 and back's hard to find. Tell yeah. me a little bit about your truck. I bought it brand new. Uh-uh. Yeah. You ain't that old. Would you get it when you're sick? <laughs> nah. I'm... So you bought it brand new, and did you drive it every day or something? Yeah, about 25 years. Drove to work every day. Then the last 10 or 15 has been parked, going to car sales, redone it. Car hey, sale now. Once the car scene got real big and all, you said, hey, I'll just redo my truck. Yeah. Because there's a lot of trucks out there that's been rebuilt. Yeah. It's a lot of the new trucks, they kind of customize it, putting out there and stuff like that. How long did it take you to redo it? About a year. Because you knew everything about the truck because you had it since it was brand new. Yeah, it didn't got but like 128,000 miles on it. Then I got it repainted and then I done the mechanical stuff. Redone the engine, transmission, all that stuff. And what size motors it got in? 350. 350 with? Original motor and everything. Now this is just what they call the short wheelbase, not yeah. the step side, just the short wheelbase. Short. And a lot of people took these trucks back in the late 70s and raced mm -hmm. them. Now what was the biggest engine come out in this, this year in this size truck? Was it, it was a, they have a big block in it? Yeah, I think it was a uh, 396, 396 I believe. that you could get in. Yeah. Now these trucks come with air and everything when there's new, right? Yeah, it's factory air, tilt, steering wheel and everything. So when you drove it back and forth to work, you never thought you'd restore it though? Not really, just drive it. Can you imagine all the vehicles we had when we <laughs> teenagers, if we had them today, <laughs> if we had them cars today, what they would be worth? Yeah, I had a lot of nice ones over the years, but never kept none of them. Yeah, and you know, back when we was teenagers, we used to get a new one, take the wheels off of it, put mags on it, and this, that, and other. Now, nowadays, people want it just like it come from the factory. They want it completely original. Now what color blue you call that? It's medium blue, that's the color it came. Now when you redone it, you have to do the interior and all too, or yeah, and you see the covers. And now, all you that do stuff. the work door panels, all that stuff. Yeah, I did all that. Because you can actually buy the panels and everything. And just yeah, redo door it panels. Yeah. You just order them, put new ones on there. Now, you have a shop or something? You just get out there and fiddle with it, or 
Yeah, at the house, yeah. So you must have something else new that you're driving around now. Yeah, I got a 95 Chevrolet truck I drive every day. That's just, since I parked that one. Well, when you so. park it, you gotta have something to ride in. <laughs> yep. And people don't realize that. Now, the chrome and all, you kept pretty nice. Did you have to redo it? Or? I bought all new chrome. Because probably when you had it the first time, you used it, you yeah, worked in it. Dents and stuff in you it, and the chrome. Nicks and all the chrome, and you never thought about, I'm gonna fix this truck back up one day. Anything else you wanna do to it? No, I think that's about it. I put different wheels on it this year. And you're from where? Rome, Georgia, just up the road about 25 miles. And Rome, Georgia has a lot of car shows too. They have a lot of good looking cars in Rome, Georgia. They have a lot of yeah. car shows up there. Did you ever go to any just to regular truck shows only? Because they have them around now. Uh, not too much. Most of the time we go to all of them where they see everything. So you're in a club that's got cars, trucks, a little everything? No, I'm not really in a club right now, but kind of get together once in a while and go places. This Cedar Bluff show is big every year. It's one, yep. of, the, it's one of the biggest shows we go to. And I mean, I estimated a while ago three to four hundred cars here. And I'd say yeah. it's that many here. Yeah, we got a place in Canton where we go to cruise now to have 600 cars. I need, I need to come up there. When do you come up there? When I Third Saturday there? of the month. Third Saturday Canton. of the month, we're down at Quintard Mall every month. Been doing that for about five years because it's kind of hard to get away on the third Saturday. Yeah. I tell you what, that's a good looking vehicle. I can't see nothing else you got to do to it except drive it and show it off. Yeah. Good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back. Keach Optical, right here on Quintard Avenue. They're across from Amco Transmission on Quintard. I tell you what, the staff in their place are second to none. Hearing aids, they have hearing tests in there. They got hearing aids in there. And glasses, he's got any kind of glasses you want. He has the type like I wear, it has no frame on it. He has these with the clip on it for sunglasses, just about anything. They have a doctor on staff that can do your prescription. You know, and they also the hearing test right there, they do it right there in the place and get your hearing aid today. Most turnaround on the glasses, they say turnaround's about 24 hours, maybe two days at max, turn around your glasses. He puts a tin in them, he does anything right there. So go by there, tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Hey everybody, Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. m &L Auto Repair, right there on 78, right across from the Quick Meds. Tell you what, Manuel and his staff can do anything that's known to be done to a car, they can do it. Tell you what, he's the specialist around here on carburetors. All you guys got these old street rods and all, or you've got some of the old cars, the carburetor ain't running right, he rebuilds Quadra Jets, Hollies, just about anything. He's a Jasper engine dealer, and he has Jasper engines and transmissions. Also, they're TechNet professionals. They're uh, members of the TechNet, so that means they're good. They do about anything, and when they rebuild a motor for you, I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a difference. That motor's gonna look different when they rebuild it. They put their special touch on that engine before you pick it up. So go by and see Manuel or one of the staff at m &L Automotive and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories sent you by. Now T. Hall Harley Davidson right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display by a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want, helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys are Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Char Harley Davidson today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Looking for a classic car? Don't know where to look? I got the answer for you. Austin Hines Motors in Arab, Alabama. Austin has 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, Camaras, Chevelles, Novas, Corvettes, any type of classic car you could want, he has it in one location. They have over 100 classic cars in stock. They also have cars that you can rebuild yourself and restore yourself right there at that location. He's also the largest wrecker and rollback dealer for this area. So call Austin today, 256-931-2277. Tell him I told you to call. Next vehicle, Wayne Wells, a 1936 Chevrolet coach. Wayne, welcome to Big Boys Toys. You got, he got he brought his own fan club with him, yeah. what do y'all think? That's that's I my mean, girlfriend and wife too. Girl? <laughs> so you bought your wife? And girlfriend. And girlfriend? Yeah. Which one's a girlfriend? The one in blue. That's somebody else's wife. You're doing good. And that one too. You got you got three girl two yep. girlfriends and a wife. Yep. We can do that. Oh, where y'all from? Aniston. I'm from Oxford, my wife won't let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been on mine 39 years. She lets me flirt. Hey, 39 years, I'm gonna get me two more girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. If y'all read my name in the obituary column next week, you'll know I shouldn't have said that. 
Tell me a little bit about your car, Wayne. It's, it's a 36 Chevrolet coach, and uh, we've been building on it about six, seven years. We drive it most everywhere we want to go, just about every day. Now, what color green? Who picked that color out? It was just the spar of the moment. Because you you can't rob no bank. You about like I am with that Corvette right We We live out in White Plains, and we got a lot of green frogs. Just didn't hardly have enough. That, I ain't never seen a frog look that good. <laughs> okay, how long did it take you to do what you wanted to do to it? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Mm -hmm. Did you drive it while you was working on it in here? Yeah. Now, what size motor and all you got? It's in? got a 305 or R7 overdrive transmission. Most of the people you talk about put the 350s. Why'd you pick a 305? Gas mileage. I get 21 miles to gallon. He gets better gas mileage than you do on the Volkswagen. Yeah. You got all the comforts at home, I'm sure. Air conditioning. Yeah, it's got vintage air and it, it's nice. All right, who picked the wheels and tires out? That boy out there on a 202. Big. Big Woody. Big Woody. Big Woody. He put them on there. I seen Winston winners on a lot of the old cars. They really make them stand out. Them white letters do. Yeah. And did you find this car and decided, hey, that's the one I want to build, or was you looking for this particular model and all? No, I just run up on it and I started building it, and I didn't realize it was a coach. I, you know, I thought it was just a 36. Now, what's the difference in the coaches and the regular 36? Uh, 36 coach don't have no trunk on it. It comes down like a Ford. So you got to put all your luggage in the back seat. Right. So you don't go on many long trips, do you? I just don't change clothes much. <laughs> and you go down to the beach and you carry one pair of shorts, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yep. And if you get real dirty, just get out in the ocean, wash them off, and wash let them dry, them and go again. Let the Lord dry you. Anything else you want to do to it? No, drive it. Drive it and have, have fun. fun. Now, the interior and all, did you do it yourself? Uh, can't thank the boy's name down on uh, Noble Street. Mike's Tops, right there near the, the food outlet. Right yes, the Mike, Mike's one that done it. Done me a good job. He does a lot of the old vehicles. Him and Tim Rozell, they're on 202. Uh, yeah. If you're in the Aniston area now, Carol over in Birmingham, she does a lot of them cars. But to fix the interior like you want, that takes a while. Stayed over three or four months, but he, he got it out pretty fast. So I was three or four months is uh, three or four months is pretty quick. Normally yeah. it takes a long time. Yeah. I was real pleased with it. So do you, which one of your girlfriends do you take riding the most? Just the one in Brown. <laughs> I, I keep her with me all the time. You keep her 24-7, don't you? 24, yeah. 39 years. Th married 39 yep. years? She asked me to marry when I was 17. Uh-uh. Yep, married her. Did you tell her yes the first time, or did you make her ask twice? First time I took her up. Did she get on her knees? No, she had her mother to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> her mother said she could cook, so I took her up. Well, we learned all about this car. We're done now, and if you want to watch Wayne get killed, just watch the camera. Yeah. Wayne, appreciate you being on the show. We'll be right back. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Farmers and Merchants Bank's got four locations to serve you. Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, and downtown Jacksonville. 90 years of service. I'll tell you what, Farmers and Merchants Bank is the bank. You know, it's not like any other bank around. You can go in and they get your decision today. They make the, your decision on a loan or whatever you need right in that location. You have a personal banker that takes care of you right here. Don't have to send it to Birmingham, Charlotte, or anywhere. Go by one of the Farmers and Merchants Bank today. Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, when someone smiles at you during the day, it kind of makes you feel great all over. Dr. Travis Phillips, his friendly staff, right here in Oxford, Alabama, says stop by their office and they'll help put that beautiful smile on your face. They have teeth whitening, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental hygienist, oil surgery, everything right here in Oxford, Alabama. He has full x-rays and partial x-rays that he does right in his office and you'll find out right then what he needs to do. They got professional staff. They have a saying, go the extra mile for the beautiful smile. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, 90% of most homeowners don't know they have a pest or termite problem until they have a very expensive repair bill. Why not let the professional staff at Rice Pest Control inspect your home before it happens? With 50 years of experience in Northeast Alabama and with their free termite inspection for new customers, don't you think it's better to be safe than sorry? Call Tracy Rice today or one of his sales staff telling Barry Miller told you to call. Hey, if you mention Big Boys Toys, you get 50% off your first initial service. So call them today at 1-800-850-4661. Oxford Tire and Alignment, Hammock Drive right here in Oxford, Alabama. They're your RV front end and tire balancing headquarters for this area. They also have the top dog muffler systems and they carry Uniroyal, BF Goodrich, Michelin, Goodyear, and Dunlop tires. You guys with the street rides and the regular cars want mag wheels, this is your one stop for your mag wheels also. They do brakes from passenger vehicles all the way to a one ton dually. Front end on passenger vehicles, they're second to none in the area and they fast and quick. Give Alan or Tommy a call today at 831-6320. Tell them Barry
Gary Miller told you to call. Next vehicle, Gina Mixon, 1923 Ford Roaster. Gina, Gina, excuse me, welcome to Big Boy's Toy. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the Roaster. Uh, it's a 1923 Ford Roadster. It is Matador Red with a 350 engine. What are you doing at rain? Stay home? Yep. What do you do if you get caught in the rain? Cars don't come out in the rain. I've seen them in a parade that start raining, and the wife or girlfriend would be in there, she'd be holding an umbrella over his head and her head, like this right here, going through a parade, because there's no top. Yeah. You, you got to. What made you pick, what made y'all fix the roaster instead of a regular coupe? Or... Well, my boyfriend had this when I met him, and he's been working on it and fixing on it since I met him. But it's just fun, it's a toy. Do you get to drive it much or work on it much? I've driven it a couple of times. Do you let you change your tires and stuff like that? No, that's men's work. You don't let you clean it or nothing? No, I get to wipe on it quite oh, often. Oh, you get to wipe on it? Yeah, I get I get the fun part. The fun part of wipe. Now, did he build the engine and all in it himself? Uh, when he got the car originally, it had a 454 engine, and he took it out and put the 350 engine in it. 454 it. with that little vehicle, wasn't it kind of hard to hold it? Yeah, he said when it got up to about 60 miles an hour, it pulled the front wheels off the road. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd, I'd, I'd switch engine too, get me a little bitty motor. Yeah. Because really, you got them for looks, cruising around town, around the Sonic, little cruisings and stuff like that. That's what you. Yeah. Because y'all not going to go from here to Mississippi on the interstate running 80 mile hour in a bucket truck. No, because that's people. when you get wet. Yeah, because you will get caught between here and Mississippi in the rain. Absolutely. We've been to Biloxi. Well, we're going back this year. Last year we didn't have it because of the hurricane. But we're going back to Biloxi this year. We went to Biloxi five years. It rained on us four and a half of the five. But it will rain in Biloxi, Mississippi. It always oh, yes. does. The women like it because they go to the mall and stuff like that because no cars on the road. Yeah. Everybody stays in the motel and the women go to the mall. Well, that's one of the reasons why we don't have the other two cars here today. We also have a 55 Chevy and a 57 Chevy. Which one do you like driving the best? The 55. Post it's a two-door hardtop. Two-door hardtop. So y'all got several cars. You just take yeah. your pick, flip a coin. Where y'all yeah. from? Rome, Georgia. You just look, go, really, you go out and look up in the sky and say, well, bucket truck today. No, you watch the weather. Oh, the, before the next day. Yeah, and you don't come to Alabama. It don't rain that bad. You in Alabama now, it don't rain that bad in Alabama. Well, uh, the last two times we've been to Alabama and went home, it rained on us both times. Go look at my yard <laughs> in Oxford, Alabama. We ain't got rain. My grass about the color of that uh, Explorer right there. And you get out there and water it. Well, now they're saying don't water your grass, but it's dying anyway. Yeah. I told my wife what I need to do is just get the concrete place out there, concrete it, paint it green. Then you ain't got to mow. No. Anything else y'all want to do to it? Uh, we've talked about chroming some of the front of it, and repainting around the engine. It, it needs repainting, a lot of different things. Just touch-up work? Yeah, mostly touch-up work. We need to redo the seats. and. Now, do they have a lot of the buckets over in Rome, Georgia area? or? Not many. I've seen a couple of different shows we've been to, but no, there's not many. Most of them is, is at different places. Yeah, and most of them are a little more fixed up than ours. You know, they've got the, the hard top and everything on them or where you can take a top on and off, but yeah. most of them are, are very rare. Tell you what, you're looking big. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back with Big Boy's Toy. Let me tell you about a place right here in North Alabama that was voted one of the number one romantic locations in the state of Alabama. Governor Cove Lodge Marina in Gunnersville, Alabama is that place. From weddings, family reunions, class reunions, vast tournaments, or just that quiet getaway for two, Covenant Cove is your answer. They have the Blue Parrot restaurant and lounge right on property. They have great food, good entertainment each and every night. They will assist you in planning and booking everything for your special event. Call Pam or one of the sales staff today at Covenant Cove and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Triplet Paint and Decorating right here on Wilmer Avenue in Anniston is your home improvement headquarters for this area. They have DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronada Paints that go on good and look great once they're on. They also have all the materials needed to do that special job around the house. Carpets, they carry Shaw and Mohawk. Hardwood floors by Robin, so everything is in one location. Remember, DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronada Paints are used by professionals all over the United States, and it's one of the best on the market. Stop by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to stop by. You know, a great privilege we have as U.S. citizens is that we can vote for a candidate of our choice in a general election regardless of our parties. When we look for a circuit judge, we want someone with integrity, honesty, and knowledge of the law. Brian Howe is that candidate. A graduate of Alexander High School, JSU, and the University of Alabama Law School, Brian has served as citizens in the United States Armed Forces for 13 years and as Assistant District Attorney for 14 years. So Brian is the best candidate for this position. So join me in November and vote for Brian Howe for circuit judge. 
You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air conditioning needs, contact Wayne Mizell at Mizell Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give them a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Next vehicle, 71 Ford Mustang, Patrick Brown. Patrick, welcome to Big Boy's Toy. Thank you. Tell me about your Mach 1. Well, it's, it's 71. I just... I've had it about 12, 13 years. Bought it when I went full time. Just had it. I was born in 71. I've always wanted a car to have my. That car is as old as you are. Exactly. Exactly. The car looks good as you do. Yeah. I know how that feels. I seen a 55 while ago. It looked as old as I am and looked better than I did. Yeah, I hear you. So, you know, that's rough. <laughs> what size motor now you got in? 351 Cleveland. With an automatic? Automatic. So. Now, all you th original you'd color. think that's a pewter color, but 71 didn't have pewter. What yeah, color do you call it's it? It's a light, light, light pewter metallic. Right. In 71, mm -hmm. what'd they call it? Light pewter metallic. I didn't believe Ford's had light pewter in 71. I thought pewter yep. come out. I've got it. the original window sticker on that car, and it's got... Because you don't see light. many of them around. Mm -hmm. Most of the Mark 1s are red and black. White. White. You don't see a lot of the, this color out there. Right. And, and it that is an all-original car. There are no modifications whatsoever. And you actually found it fixed up like this, or you did most of the work yourself? Or? Well, it was painted when I got it, and I had the uh, uh, interior redone in it. And uh, I've had some, a little bit of motor work done to it. A friend of mine uh, tinned it up and everything, got it running right. And bought the wheels and tires and put on it. It come with the original hubcaps on it, wheels and hubcaps. But I, want, I like the Magnums better than I did the hubcaps. Yeah, and the Magnums look good on it, you know, because exactly. you had some of the Mustangs that come with the Magnums. and. Exactly. These, it just looks better with the magnums on it. Yeah, it always I, does. I've had fun with it. With Anything heat. else you want to do to it? Well, I'd like to get the motor detailed if I can, but it's going to be a ways down the road because I'm redoing another vehicle right now. And you my, and my dad are. The actual detail of a motor to do it right, you got to take it apart. Exactly. You know, exactly. Take it apart, take the head, take everything off, paint exactly. it from top to bottom. No, I can't and afford when, that right now. And when you do that, you might as well rebuild it while you got it apart. Exactly. Because exactly. you don't have it apart anyway. Right. Uh, and the 351 Cleveland were strong engines in the 70s. They are. You had the 351 Windsors, but them Clevelands, you could always tell a Cleveland from a Windsor. Listen that's to right. It. You know, that's right. You can hear the difference in that motor if you get close enough and listen to it. You can hear the difference in the Cleveland. Yes, that's right. What's some of the cruise ins and car shows you go to? Hell, I go to, I go to Sneed, uh, down here at Charlie and Cases, which is now the Garden Grill down in Rainbow City. I go to. Uh, uh, Boaz, Sonic. So a little bit everywhere. We have a little bit everywhere. So what's the farthest? You... <coughs> I'll have to edit that. I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it. <laughs> what's the farthest you went with it to a cruise in or car uh, show? Car show, probably Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia. Because they do have shows just Mustangs only. Right. Now, yeah. I, I took it to Huntsville last year to the national show in Huntsville. They had a national show at the Rocket City Mustang. I'm, I'm pretty good there, you know. It's, I'm, they had over 2,000 Mustangs there. Right. And Mustangs is cars I say all the time. Mustangs come out 64 and a half, first Mustang, and they've been here ever since. And Mustangs has got are just as popular as they was in 64 exactly. and 65. They, exactly. they don't change. Right. I mean, the new GT Mustangs, you know, it's just it's just like the old GT Mustangs. Exactly. I mean, they look people like want them. Mustangs. Mm -hmm. they, they just, Mustangs is. Uh, had a better idea and they've kept it all these years. They That's don't right. want to change it. That's right. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. Appreciate Thank you being on the show. All we'll right. be right back. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Sider Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama is one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff.